Okay, so we're going to do about 15 minutes of simple meditation before we begin. And for those of you who think meditation is hard, I always say that there are two types of meditation. And those two types of meditation are called Second Noble Truth Meditation and Third Noble Truth Meditation. In other words, the Second Noble Truth says if you crave, it causes you suffering. So if your meditation sucks, if it's lots of suffering, it means you've been craving. So stop it. <laughs> and if the third noble truth, letting go, is a path to nibbana, to peace, to happiness. So if you get peaceful meditation, well done, you've been letting go. So these are the two types of meditation, and I teach the third noble truth type of meditation. No suffering. And in order to teach you, this is how you meditate. You can see my cup. And the purpose of meditation is holding your cup perfectly still, so nothing moves. For no matter how long I try to hold my cup still, it always keeps moving. Even if I concentrate very hard and put lots of effort into holding my cup, still it moves. And that's how most people meditate, try to hold their mind still. And they get lots of suffering and frustration. The way to meditate is not holding the cup, it's putting it down. I'm not sure if you can see, but when I put my cup down, it becomes perfectly still and there's no effort required. That's called meditation. Letting go, disengaging, just watching without fighting. If you can do that, you know how to meditate. Not wanting to go anywhere or reach anything or attain things, but just being here. Letting go of wanting means you stay where you are. You don't go anywhere. And in that stillness, the stillness by itself changes and gets deeper and deeper into peace, into the heart of your mind. That's how we meditate. So, those of you who are there and want to try, please close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, just remember there's no wanting allowed during this next 10 or 15 minutes. You're not trying to get somewhere, not trying to achieve anything, just learning how to be here. What are you aware of right now? Not just the sound of my voice, but just the feelings in your body. Instead of trying to overcome any unpleasant feelings or control any of your body, see if you can just let it be. Not fighting, but accepting, embracing, opening the door of your heart to the present reality in your body. Becoming in the present moment, no past, no future. The past is something we can't change anyway. It's a waste of time worrying about it. It's gone, it's finished. And as for the future, now, this very moment, is the place your future is being made. This is the only time you have to do anything about your future prosperity, happiness, peace. If you really care about the future, care about the place it's being made right now. And in this moment, whatever you are aware of, please react to it with kindness, with acceptance, with interest and respect. If you're kind to this present moment, it smiles back at you and stays. You can just rest in being here. Always being compassionate to the reality of now. 
No past, no future, no time. Just let all of that put drop away for the moment. And see if you can transcend your thinking mind. There's no need to give things a name. There's no need to philosophize. Be quiet. Listen rather than talk. Know the reality before the words can describe it. And respect the silence. Be kind to the silence. And that inner quietness will remain. Enjoy the feeling of being free, free from the prisons of the past and free from the demands of the future, just to be arrested, free from having to work it all out and give things names, just peaceful, quiet in this moment. Falling deeper and deeper in to this moment. You are putting the cup down. You are not holding anything. Just letting time evolve. Letting this being be. Merging into the timeless present. To experience that truth happens when all the words stop. Understanding that when you want something more, you can never be at peace. No wanting, just being.
universe quiet in the same way we can stop speaking with our mouth. We can use the same, the same inner effort to keep the thought quiet. Stop the inner speech. getting very close to the end of the meditation period. Don't open your eyes yet. Now just know how you feel. How much peace, contentment, how much inner happiness you can experience right now. And know where this comes from is the result of meditation. When you let go, you become peaceful. When you crave, strive and struggle, you give rise to suffering. Buddhists know the key. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes at the end of the meditation. No bell, no bother. Here we like no 